hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to make these uh, sunflower coasters which you can fold it and place it inside this basket and uh, as you can see there are two different ways of folding the coasters which I'll show you and once you uh, fold the coasters, coasters into the basket the basket itself look like a big sunflower or you can say a bouquet of flower in a basket so here is one arrangement and I will show you another arrangement in that you can just individually fold these coasters and place them side by side into the basket and arrange them. So uh, description uh, section will have the details of the yarn uh, used, the hook size and all the other details related to things required in today's uh, video. So do refer to the description section also. So this is one coaster which I have already made. Now we are going to start and make the new one. So I'm making a magic ring first and then I'm going to chain one. So to make a magic ring just wrap the yarn around your two fingers two times now take the magic ring out and then make 12 double crochets into the magic ring so the chain one that we did at the beginning of this round does not count as a stitch so after the chain one we will do 12 double crochets and these 12 double crochets are the one which count as the stitches so make a uh, 12 double crochet into the magic ring so here we are almost done with the 12 double crochets remember that we do not count the chain one as the uh, first stitch so here you can count and see if you have 12 double crochets so uh, we can start one we can start here saying 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so we, we have 12 double crochets now pull the tail yarn and close the magic ring as tight as possible and now on top of this first stitch that is on top of the first double crochet make a slip stitch and then chain one then make one double crochet into the same stitch and then again make one more double crochet into the same stitch so here too the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so we made two double crochet in the same stitch or you can also call it as an increase so increase is when we are making uh, one extra stitch into the same stitch so continue making uh, one increase in each stitch till the end of this round so you'll be making two double crochets in each stitch and since the previous round had 12 double crochets uh, by the end of this round you should have a total of 24 double crochets once you are done with this round you are again going to do the same thing that is slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and you are going to chain one and this chain one doesn't count as a stitch make one double crochet on top of the first stitch now make two double crochets or you can call it as an increase in the next stitch then again make one double crochet in the next stitch and then make an increase in the following stitch so repeat this pattern of one double crochet followed by an increase a uh, total of uh, 12 times or 12 sets uh, till you reach the end of this round and you will have a total of 36 uh, double crochets by the end of this round now here uh, slip stitch to the first stitch and now chain one here this chain one counts as a single crochet and then make one treble crochet into the same stitch so for treble crochet you yarn over twice and then pull through two loops at a time and do that three times so i'll show you again so into the next stitch make one single crochet first 
and into the same stitch make a treble crochet so for treble crochet yarn over twice insert your hook and inside the stitch and pull through two loops a uh, first set of two loops then the second set of two loops and the third set of two loops so this is a treble crochet now again into the next stitch make one single crochet followed by a treble crochet so for this round the pattern is to make uh, one single crochet followed by a treble crochet into each stitch of the uh, previous round so repeat this pattern till the end of this round So while you are making this treble crochets followed by a single crochet you will see that on the back side these kind of tiny bumps are formed which uh, resemble the center part of a uh, uh, sunflower. So this is the wrong side. So we are going to turn our work once we are done making this uh, uh, circle for the center part of the sunflower. So here we are at the last stitch we are making the single crochet followed by a treble crochet and once we are done with the treble crochet we are going to slip stitch to the base of the first, to the base of the very first stitch so make a slip stitch here and then chain one and pull the yarn tight to make a knot and then trim off so here the uh, center part of the sunflower is ready and once you trim it off uh, this is the wrong side you have to turn flip it to the other side and you can see this is how the center part of the sunflower looks like now stitch in the tail yarn the center yarn you can pull it to the other side and then uh, pass the yarn through a few of the existing center stitches and uh, then uh, trim it off so you can also use a small needle instead of this uh, small crochet hook but i prefer using a smaller crochet hook because it requires a less a tail yarn and there is less wastage so if you leave a long tail yarn you can use a needle and then stitch it into the existing stitches so similarly for the other tail yarn also just uh, pass the tail yarn through a few of the existing stitches and once you feel that the yarn is secure and hidden among the existing stitches you can trim it off and to make the uh, ends of the tail yarn more secure you can also dab a, a dot of glue to it so here the center is done now we are going to add the petals so for petals i'm using a yellow color yarn i'm going to start off by making a slip knot and the slip knot i'm going to connect to this last round of this circle but as you can see the stitches are behind on the uh, uh, bottom side of this circle so insert your hook into the stitch and pull this uh, slip knot through any one of the stitch so any you need not there need not be any particular stitch where you have to start your work you can start your work at any stitch then make a chain of one so make a chain of one now this chain one starts uh, um, acts as a single crochet now into the next stitch so you can see that the stitches are on the back side here like this so here to make one single crochet so into so here into the first three stitches we are just making one single crochet in each stitch and as i said the first chain one represents a single crochet so this is the third stitch where we are making a single crochet now on top of the third stitch we are going to chain four and we're making a chain four picot so to make a picot insert your hook to the base two loops here like this and then make a slip stitch so this is a chain four picot now again into the next three stitches just make one single crochet in each 
so while you are doing this what you can do is you can make your stitches on top of the tail yarn like I'm doing here so that you can hide the tail yarn in the process of making the stitches itself or you can leave it for later and then stitch it in using a needle or a uh, smaller crochet hook so on top of the third stitch you're going to make a chain four so this is called a chain four picot so for the chain four picot after the chaining of four insert your hook into the two loops and make a slip stitch so the pattern for this round is making three single crochets in uh, the first three stitches and after the third single crochet on top of the third single crochet you will be making a chain four picot so continue this pattern till the end of uh, this round and you will have uh, created these uh, tiny loops so you will have a total of 12 uh, loops by the end of this round so the loops are uh, formed or the spaces are formed by using the uh, chain 4 pico method so this is the last one so this is you can call it as a loop or the space where we will make the petals so this is the last one so we are going to make a slip stitch now uh, go to the first stitch and make a slip stitch to the first stitch so this is the first stitch make a slip stitch here and go to the next stitch and make one single crochet on top of it And now we will be making the petal into this space of the chain 4 pico. So to make the petal we are going to first make 5 double crochets into this space. So this is the loop, uh, the chain 4 loop space that we have. So into this we are going to make all our stitches for the petals. So first make 5 double crochet. And on top of the fifth double crochet we will do a chain one pico so chain one and insert your hook into the base two loops and make a slip stitch following this we will be making uh, four double crochets again into the same uh, space so this is our first petal So once you are done with four uh, double crochets, you're going to make a single crochet into the middle uh, stitch. So skip one stitch and into the middle st one stitch, skip and to the second one, make one single crochet. And then you're going to skip the next uh, stitch also and then make the next petal. So made a single crochet in the middle and now you're skipping one stitch and then again repeating the petal pattern so for the petal again let me show you we are going to make first five double crochets this is the third double crochet the fourth double crochet and the fifth double crochet on top of the fifth double crochet make a chain one pico and then make four more double crochets so first double crochet second double crochet third double crochet so third double crochet here and the fourth double crochet now skip one stitch and into the next stitch make one single crochet And then skip one more stitch and then make, make the next petal into the space. So repeat this uh, pattern uh, around and uh, by the end of this round you should have a total of uh, 12 uh, petals for the sunflower. So here continue the same pattern around so here we are almost at the end of uh, this round and we just have one space or one uh, loop space where we are supposed to make the petals so repeat the same pattern of five double crochet followed by a chain one picot followed by four double crochets 
and then we are going to complete this round with a slip stitch to the first stitch so if you remember we started off with a single crochet at the beginning so into the base or into that single crochet make a slip stitch and chain one and pull the yarn tight to make a knot and trim off this yarn so we are done with the coaster you can uh, uh, leave it at this and just enjoy these coasters as it is and or else you can also make the basket and make it as a set so here too we have this tail yarn so for the tail yarn follow the same rule either leave a long uh, tail yarn and use a needle to stitch it into the existing stitches or use a smaller crochet hook and just pull the yarn through a few of the uh, existing stitches and then trim it off so here the coasters are ready and now let me uh, move ahead and show you how to uh, make the uh, basket as well so for the basket I'm using this peaches and cream uh, yarn I'm going to start off by making a magic ring and then chain yarn uh, chain one So chain one and take the magic ring out of your fingers and then for the first round so this is similar to what we did for the coaster the center part we are going to do the similar or the same pattern so we are going to chain one so that does not count as a stitch and then we are going to make 12 double crochets into the magic ring so continue making the stitches or continue making the double crochets and make a total of 12 double crochets into the uh, magic ring. So once uh, you are done with the 12 double crochets you will need to pull the tail yarn and close the magic ring so here we are almost done with the 12 double crochets so i'm going to pull the tail yarn and close the magic ring and uh, into this first stitch i'm going to first make a slip stitch this is a pure cotton yarn so it is a little bit difficult to work with this yarn and it's not as smooth so make a chain of one which doesn't count as a stitch into the same stitch make two double crochets so the pattern for this round is to make an increase in each stitch so you will be making two double crochets in each of the stitches so since the previous round had 12 double crochets this round by the end of it you should have a total of 24 double crochets so continue making uh, the stitches into each stitch and once you're end at the end of this round you will slip stitch to the first stitch and chain one and uh, as usual the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so for this round number three the pattern is to make one double crochet in the first stitch and an increase into the next stitch so into the next stitch make two double crochets and again into the next stitch make one double crochet followed by two double crochets in the next stitch so repeat this pattern of making one double crochet followed by two double crochets till the end of this round and by the end of uh, this particular round you should have a total of 36 double crochets so once you are done with the 36 double crochets so this is the base done now we are going to increase the height of the basket so we're going to work only in the back loop so you can see that each stitch has two loops this is the back loop so make a slip stitch uh, to the first stitch but only in the back loop and chain one and now make one double crochet into the same stitch now the chain one doesn't count as a stitch 
so no, it's like you're making one sing uh, double crochet into the first stitch so make one double crochet into the next stitch also so here uh, the pattern is to make one double crochet in each stitch but you have to keep in mind that you are working only in the back loop so as you can see here each stitch has two loops and we are working only in the back loop so continue making just one uh, double crochet in each stitch and that two only in the back loop and you can see that there will be an edging kind of uh, uh, edging will be formed in the base of the basket so keep making the double crochets now it will start taking the shape and as you can see here this is the edge and the as you can see the height of the basket has started this is the first round for the height of the basket so complete this round it is very simple just one double crochet in each stitch now for the next round first we are going to slip stitch to the first stitch and we are going to chain one and into the same stitch make one double crochet for this round we will do exactly what we did in the previous round that is to make uh, one double crochet in each stitch but in this case the only difference is we are going to use both the loops so uh, use the entire stitch and make the double crochets so working on the back loop uh, uh, we need to do only when we are uh, in, when we start increasing the height and that is the first round alone so the following rounds where we are increasing the height we will be working on both the loops or you can say the entire stitch so continue uh, making one double crochet in each till the end of this round and you should have a total of 36 stitches here too now uh, the next one also will be doing the same thing first start off with a slip stitch and then a chain of one and then make one double crochet in the first stitch and continue making one double crochet in each stitch so here too by the end of this round you should have a total of 36 uh, stitches because we are not increasing or decreasing any stitches and here too we will be working on both the loops or the entire stitch so once we are done uh, we will um, stop I mean we'll uh, slip stitch and chain one and trim off this white yarn so we are done with the height of this basket now we are going to add the um, leaves as the uh, at the border of the basket here so uh, before that let's stitch in the tail yarns so the center yarn you can stitch in and trim it off or just trim it off and here this yarn also just pass it through few of the existing stitches and once it is uh, secure enough you can trim it off and you can also dab a lot of glue to the edge if it is poking out so here uh, we are done and now we are going to use the green yarn and we are going to first start off by making a slip knot and the slip knot we are going to connect to any of the stitches so through the inside of the basket insert your hook and pull this uh, slip knot through it you can decrease the size of the slip knot by pulling the uh, two yarns on both sides and then now make a chain of one so this is exactly the pattern of the petals that we did for the sunflower so the chain one counts as a stitch now make one single crochet into the next stitch and one more single crochet into the third stitch now make a chain four pico so chain four and into the base uh, two loops insert your hook and make a slip stitch now again into the next three stitches just make one single crochet in each so this must be easy for you because you would have already done this pattern while making the sunflower posters so we are repeating the same pattern to make the leaves as well 
so make a chain four picot on the on top of the third uh, uh, single crochet so for the picot insert a hook to the base two loops and make a slip stitch and continue this pattern around and uh, create the uh, chain four picot loops where we are going to make our uh, leaves so we'll be repeating this pattern till the end of this round so complete this and here slip stitch to the very first stitch and then we are going to make one single crochet into the next stitch and then into this space we are going to first make five double crochet so this is the exact pattern as i, as I told you uh, that we use for the sunflower petals also so make five double crochet first use the second double crochet the third double crochet the fourth double crochet and the fifth double crochet now make a chain one and insert your hook into the base two loops and slip stitch so this is a chain one pico and now make four more double crochets first double crochet second double crochet third double crochet and the fourth double crochet now skip one stitch and into the next stitch make one single crochet Now again skip one more stitch and make the uh, flower petal pattern so that is five double crochet followed by a chain one picot followed by a four double crochets so first make the five double crochet and on top of the fifth double crochet make a chain one picot so this is the fifth double crochet now make a chain one picot and then make four more double crochets and then after the four double crochets skip one stitch and then make a, a single crochet so repeat this pattern uh, till the end of this round so continue making these uh, leaves and using the same pattern by the end of uh, this is the last round so we are at the end of this round and this is the last uh, leaf that we are working on so make this last uh, double crochet and then make a slip stitch to the base of the first stitch uh, if you're wondering if i why i have such a short yarn at the end that's because i had forgotten about recording and i had completed the basket pattern and trimmed off my yarn and then realized it and then started this pattern again so i do not have a long tail yarn so here just chain one and then if you have a long uh, yarn just trim it off so uh, after this you can stitch in this uh, tail yarn so i have already completed this process and just to show you guys how to do it i took out the yarn and uh, I'm doing it again. That is why you can see that I have a very short tail yarn here to work with and Once you are done, we are done with the pattern So you will have the coasters ready as well as the basket ready and You can place the coasters inside the basket in multiple ways and uh, They look pretty anyway and if uh, you do not want to make the basket also like you can at least make the coasters and enjoy uh, these coasters this spring season so here as i'm showing you one more time you can just roll the each coaster this way and place them side by side or one inside the other in this manner and place them inside the basket 
this itself looks uh, look like a flower pot with a plant in it so i really hope you enjoyed uh, today's tutorial uh, uh, you can check out my other similar videos as well and please do subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell icon for notifications on new videos that i publish and give me a thumbs up guys thank you very much for watching and have a great day